A woman was trying to get out of a bad situation on the south side, so she jumped head first through a window. Tonight we're learning what exactly the woman saw before she escaped. Lynn Hayes Freeland has the story. Broken glass on a sidewalk. It almost gives the impression that someone was trying to break into a house. But last night at 112 at 16th Street here on the south side, someone was literally breaking out. Pittsburgh police say a woman identified in court papers as Kelsey Ronan flagged them down, saying she had just escaped from inside a local home. Ronan told police she had been inside this house with three white males when she noticed padlocks on the doors. Ronan told police that's when one man, identified as Robert Abbott, told her he had women chained to a bed in the basement. I haven't observed anything out of the ordinary. Um, um, it seems like a few people live there, um, to my knowledge, um, but hadn't interacted with them. Running told police, fearing for her life, she ran down the stairs and tried to get out the front door, but there was a deadbolt and she couldn't open it. She told police she was so afraid she just jumped out of a first floor window. It's definitely shocking. Um, wouldn't expect anything like that to happen right next door, but. Anything's possible. Police say when they got to the house, Robert Abbott gave them permission to search the premises, and inside they found various drug paraphernalia a crack pipe, needles, white stamp bags, and a couple of doors padlocked from the outside. Abbott was charged with possession, possession with intent to deliver, and recklessly endangering another person. Ronan was taken to a local hospital, listed in stable condition, with lacerations on the face and arms. Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDK, TV News.